space. It seems to go on and on forever. You might think of it as an endless, empty void. But the truth is that space is dangerously crowded and filled with junk. Well, at least the space near our home planet Earth is. You might not think about it very often, but there are over 4,500 satellites in orbit around our little blue planet, including communication satellites, GPS rigs, weather equipment, and so much more. That makes the area above Earth pretty crowded, and it's only going to get more crowded as time goes on. Humanity plans to continue launching satellites by the thousands, making low Earth orbit an increasingly busy area of the sky. On the one hand, it's impressive to think that we've put so much technology into space. On the other hand, we've also kind of left it a mess up there. Although there are thousands of satellites in space, not all of them are in use. Over time, satellites wear out or are replaced with newer technology, leaving old equipment derelict in orbit. Low Earth orbit is also littered with the leftovers of space travel, including abandoned launch vehicle stages or debris from explosions, collisions, and more. NASA refers to all of these unwanted orbital objects as space debris, or more casually, space junk. And there's a lot of it. According to the European Space Agency, the Space Surveillance Network is currently tracking over 31,000 pieces of space debris, and that's only the pieces large enough to actually track. It's estimated that there are about a million pieces of space junk larger than one centimeter in size, and millions more if you count objects smaller than one centimeter. And believe it or not, you should count those smaller objects. Traveling at speeds of 17,000 miles per hour or more, even a tiny paint chip can damage a spacecraft or satellite. In fact, NASA says that space shuttle windows have had to be replaced due to damage caused by nothing more than paint flecks in orbit. And in April of 2022, the International Space Station had to execute a reboost maneuver to help it dodge debris from a destroyed Russian satellite. It was a subtle course correction, but it serves as a great example of how important it is to monitor how much space debris is in orbit. And although the problem is currently manageable, some scientists are concerned that one day it won't be. If there's too much space junk in orbit, the debris might start crashing into itself which would then generate more space debris that would crash into other objects in orbit and, well, continue to create more and more space junk. If that sounds familiar, it might be because that scenario was used to kick off the plot of the film Gravity. But NASA scientists call that scenario the Kessler Syndrome, after the scientist who first imagined it back in 1978. It hasn't happened in real life, but it serves as a strong example of the potential problem. Unfortunately, solving that problem is a huge challenge. Much like cleaning up the Earth's oceans, picking up the trash in low Earth orbit is incredibly difficult, and we're trying out a lot of different approaches to control the problem. For instance, the Remove Debris program, run by the University of Surrey Space Center, tested a net designed to capture space junk and drag it out of orbit. And it actually did successfully grab a tiny CubeSat in an orbital test back in 2018. Similarly, the Japanese space agency designed an electromagnetic tether that was designed to slow down space debris so it could fall back into the atmosphere and burn up on re-entry. But so far, this project has yet to find success. For now, one of the best weapons we have against space junk might be information, which is the idea behind Privateer a company co-founded by former Apple founder Steve Wozniak. Privateer hopes to build a data infrastructure to help track space debris and help us plan for the future. And we'll need to, because any future humanity has in space will depend on making sure we have clear skies ahead. After all, you can't ride a rock to the stars if there's a bunch of garbage in the way. <laughs>